ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟೂಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಡಿಟರ್ಮಿಸಿ ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಡಿಟರ್ಮಿಸಿ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಡರ್ಮಿಸಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಟುಕ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಟುಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಾರಿಜಾಂಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ವಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದೋಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಲಿವರ್ ಸಿ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಲಿವರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಬಾಡಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ದೋಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಸಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಪಿ ಹಾರಿಜಾಂಟಲ್ ಹಾರಿಜಾಂಟಲ್ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಬಿ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ನ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಕಟ್ಟೇಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಕಟ್ಟೇಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿ ಪ್ರೊಹಿಬಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಫೈ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಎ ವರ್ಟ್ ಓ ಹಾರಿಜಾಂಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಎಫ್ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಎಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಒನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಸರ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟಿಲ್ವರ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಬಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಬಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಥಿಯೇಟಾ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಎಫ್ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಎಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಎಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಟೂ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್
the same thing theta you will give this strain energy partial differentiation of the strain energy you already know it but today i will small modification those formulas modification those very small formulas because if you find out the strain energy of this beam when you applied a fixed fixious loading it takes too much time because for, for the finding of one one value and second value third value you have to find out different different fixious load you applied and find out the total strain energy and differentiate it it takes a, how many how many days days for the finding of the one one column this is a column not a row one column of the flexibility matrix it takes too much time and also for the free free deformations also you have to find out that is also take a, a too much too much time we already discussed these things we already discussed these things partial differentiation of strain energy with respect to the force which gives the deflection in the same direction of the force i will give today i will give a small modification later we solve this problem okay so before that i will show you what we discussed in the strain energy method see you can you can feel that it's we already discussed structure analysis see it is strain energy you have to find out the strain energy with respect to the partial differentiation of strain energy with respect to that force it gives the deflection you already know it you already know it so pl cube by 3a and also you have to find out the moment m you have to find out the moment at any section later you have to integrate with 0 to l integrate to 0 to l that gives the total strain energy that total strain energy with respect to the partial differentiation of that force it gives the deflection <clears throat> so later if you applied a point load if you applied if if you want a rotation if you want a slope at that location for the slope you want to differentiate with respect to moment so for that i applied a fixious moment m fixious moment m c so find out the strain energy and partial difference find out the strain energy in the strain energy i put m is zero m is zero m is zero and also partial differentiation of with respect to m so this value also zero only this term is remaining so you will get pl square by 2a we already discussed it same thing here also when you applied a moment m you want a deflection for the want deflections you have to apply a fixed point load p later you will get ml square by 2a sir understood yes. so and also i just modified it <coughs> at that at the time only directly in the state this formula do m by do a so m square directly this in this formula we differentiated 2m by a so 2 to cancel directly you can write it like this m by a into do m by do a. okay so do p or do m whatever you can directly you can write it like this you can do this okay so in this in this formula just observe it just observe it <clears throat> so delta if you want to find out the delta here is if you whenever you find out the whenever it's the m is so i remove it i will directly write in our topic no problem see whenever whenever that p is there you want a rotation at this location you want rotation at this you want to apply a fixious moment m fixious this is fixious finally it is zero finally it is zero what you will get so what you would get final p l square by 2a will come 2a will come the same thing if you applied if you applied c if you applied 
a moment is applied you want a deflection you want a deflection you want a deflection you want to apply a fixious p load fixious p load later it's going to be zero that's delta is ml square by 2a and honestly if you took p is equal to one force or m is equal to one moment these two are equal both are equal you already understood it <coughs> okay and also one thing you have to understand so this is a rotation here this is a deflection here what is the rotation deflection this is pl cube by 3a here is what is the rotation rotation is ml by a if you took p is equal to 1 because our conditions it's a unit force you have to apply a unit force here also apply a one it's l by a it's l cube by 3a so just observe it just i will show you something i will show something i will show something something you missed sir <coughs> just observe it very very you have to observe it mm. Mm -hmm. how can i will show i will show i will show something like this if you applied a p load what is the bending moment here what is the bending moment m is you can apply as a p into x or just you feel that p is 1 just feel it is p is 1 p is 1 because everything so if you write down this moment m square by 2a m square by 2a you will get x square so because p into x is the p into x is the bending moment I understood p into x is the bending moment so p square and x square you will get I understood x square you will get if you integrate it what you will get you will get integration is x cube x cube term just just terms I won't uh, do again the proof of this I will explain something x cube okay or just observe it just observe it and if you see if you applied a unit moment if you applied a unit moment one moment one so what is the moment if you applied a one moment is m moment is m only otherwise it's a one just a one so if you if you square it if you square it you will get one only you will get one only okay so now again if you observe it if you want a, here is a rotation you want if you want a rotation you want rotation what finally you will get finally you will get pl square you will get x square term c one thing here you will get final term is x cube rotation you will get x square here you see it's a final it's a rotation you will get l by a what is it l by a c okay l by a so 1 into l by a okay so just observe it here is a delta you will get directly x square term x square pl square by 2a will come one thing you have to observe it just observation later i will explain how to do how to do here the bending moment is x you remove it the p term p is the one directly if you want to find out directly if you want to find out the deflection in the direction of that force is give the bending moment whole square x into x you will get understood x into x later integration later integration you will get this x into x later integration understood okay so here also if you see a moment is applied if you want to find out the rotation in the direction of the same force the moment is one 
1 into 1 whole square 1 square only will come 1 will come okay but now if you observe it a force is applied you want a moment is see you want a rotation is up you want a rotation is required you want rotation is required are understood if a force is applied but you want rotation so you want you have to apply a fixed moment that says something story but just a common observation this if we have new load applied when you applied a point load what is the bending moment is x when you applied a point rotation when you applied a moment what is the bending moment is 1 are understood so that's my point is when you want when you want a deflection under the point load so i will clarify i will clarify with small letters when you applied a point load p when you applied a point load p you want a direct deflection you have to write a bending moment equation like m when you want to write a bending moment like equation of m1 just write it what is the bending moment bending moment is x x is na 1 into x is x here when you applied a moment you write a bending moment equation by write a bending moment in that section that bending moment section is m2 bending moment is m2 some value that value is 1 that value is 1 when you find out the deflection under the same load of p under the same load of p so what you will get x into x is x into x you will get it so this x should be squared and uh, you have to apply integration of this m1 multiply with m1 later you have to integrate you will get l cube or understood later you will get you will get x cube l cube that's only that's weight when you applied a point load you want a deflection in the same direction only you have to multiply with this bending moment bending moment due to this point load and the same bending moment because we required we have delta only here also see when you applied a moment m you want a rotation because the rotation is in the, same, in the direction of the same force you have to same you will get rotation of m2 that is 1 you have to multiply with m2 1 into 1 you will get 1 square 1 square you will get it but if you see when you applied a point load and you want a rotation that rotation acquires that rotation is resembles to this m na? that rotation is resembles to m because we when we applied a fixed load of m here that contributes to this same thing this this moment na? one one will get when you applied a fixed moment m here the extra bending moment will get x plus one you will get it that's it x plus one this effect also will come it's the same thing if when you want a rotation when you want a rotation here integration of m1 that is x this effect this effect and multiply with this effect this effect is m2 you will get it directly you will get it no need to put a fixed load and you have to apply it and no need at all and you can observe it and you can do it i can't do a uh, i can't do a proof regarding those because there's this observation directly you can put this effect p effect and this effect rotation effect divided by a and dx <laughs> and later you have to integrate with you will directly you will get rotation here also you want delta you want delta so this m2 effect and that m1 effect bending moment divided by a and to dx you can integrate it if you see it is this m1 m2 or m2 m1 both are equal you already know you already know it's give will give pl square by 2a it's ml square by 2a if p is equal to 1 m equal to 1 both are equal so my intention here is see no need to put a fixed load and later find out the strain energy and later you have to apply a fixed load is zero this is too heavy and the later by observation of those strain energies what you can get it is directly write a bending moment directly write a bending moment with in that section 
with respect to one force later another force later if you three unknowns are there later third third effect also later third effect also the first effect the first when you applied a, this when you applied a certain load we want a deflection in that but in that direction only you have to require you can square it m1 into m1 when you applied this load you want a deformation in another direction another direction means this direction rotation you want required you have to apply a bending moment g integration of integration m1 the bending moment effort caused by the another direction if another also if third direction if you see if just now i see visa a third is there one two third is there if you want to apply a point load here point load a point load here you want this direction you want a deflection in this direction this bending moment effect you have right thus bending moment m3 you can integrate it you can integrate it see it's just a point load when point load is applied you can integrate it you can get it that's how simple it is how simple it is that's the simplification of strain energy fixious loads we already did everything previously but that is a some hectic work and if you closely watch those equations close closely uh, get into those idea finally they realize this thing finally they realize this thing are understood finally they realize this thing so i don't want to go to again and do the derivations of regarding this but you can observe it you will get it that's it so if you know this thing you can solve this type of problems you can solve this type of problems okay now you can you can understand so you can understand so now i will now i will solve the problem but if you directly took this 3 by 3 you feel some oh my god oh my god so two heavy problem so that heavy problem i will do i will do later i will do later next class for the simplification to understand this to understand these equations these equations i will do a small problem of same beam only beam only i will solve it okay by using this these formulas by using these formulas okay so i will took the problem what we solved previously what we solved previously i will took the same problem okay are understood i will took the same problem see this problem this problem i did it and later i asked you to later i asked you to do the where it is i asked vp and vc as announce to do it anyone do it, did it i don't know but i asked same same problem vb vc taken as announce and do it it has some difficulty because what is the difficulty to find out the deflection at this location and this location is difficult to find out the unit flexibility matrix is not a difficulty but free body diagram to find out the deflection here here it is a difficulty but now it's not a difficulty now it's not a difficulty how can i i will show you the same problem the same problem now i will took it okay so see it <clears throat> 60 kilo newton meter 100 kilo newtons it's a 1.5 1.5 four meters okay <coughs> that's it so i will give a b c okay so this v b and v c i will took two is under indeterminacy you already know i took v b and v c as a redundant forces remove it remove it remove it how it is de deformed like something it deforms it's delta c we want difference we want deformations at unknown at the locations of unknowns because final location is 0 0 we required 
this required so how to find out this i will explain i will explain okay so next you have to find out the flexibility matrix when you have to apply a unit load here unit load here you want to find out the deformation in this direction okay you want this this is f11 this is f21 okay here also if you applied a unit load this is f this is 2 now okay this is 2 f22 here is f12 you have to find out this also sir we already know sir these equations we can easily find out those deformations but my intention is not to solve this problem we already solved this problem my intention is to discuss these things how to find out those things later i we will use the same thing in the frames that is a typical problem we require these type of formulas for those problems for this it's not required but to understand it okay i will explain i will explain so to find out this thing these two i will say later first i will find out the i can find out the flexibility mat flexibility matrix so how it is see first you have to write like this you have to write like this portion origin m m1 m2 limits what is this sir <coughs> what is this sir i will explain so see see i i rec i I my intention is see when you applied a unit force here you want to find out this f11 you want to find out f21 when you want to when you apply a unit force here f2 you have to find out f22 and f21 f12 how to find out sir those if you know the formulas directly you can find out but not is how to find out by the strain energy how to find out the strain energy so this is the equation this is the type you have to write down that you have to write down that when a force is applied you have to you have to take care of bending moment that is the bending moment of m1 that is only bending moment that effect when you applied a unit force you have to write down the bending moment at different different sections because this is a totally single force is applied so in total span the bending moment is x only x only no? 1 into x x only but if you take in a different different support conditions different spans has different bending moment so you have to write down m1 that's the bending moment in that span when you apply another loading you have to write down the bending moment m2 so if you want to find out the deflection at this direction only you can directly write m1 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 when you want the deflection in another direction you have to write m1 into m2 are understood so that's why my intention is c so this m i will explain this m regarding this thing i will explain later now only sh should be focused in m1 m2 okay just observe it just observe it the portion is the c b and a is there this is the total span are understood this is the total span this is c b a c b a okay so now observe the portion is first i will took as a bending moment in different different spans not a span, a total span different different parts that's the portion in cb portion if you take in a cb portion cb portion <coughs> okay so i will understand okay one thing I will small modification those regarding the symbols. Another another symbol also there. It is B. It is also some load is there. It's a C and D. I will give like this. Okay. It's a C. It's a C and D. 
let's just see load is there bending moment may be changed in this look in this part it's a changing so that's why i will give this okay let's see it first first cd port cd part take it cd part take it in the cd part what is the bending moment in this part in this location see what is the bending moment sir bending moment cd location is zero because see when you applied a load here one the bending moment only in this location there is no chance in this location are understood there is no chance cd location is there any chance so directly m1 this is i call first uh, first unknown first unknown this is a one uh, first unknown and second unknown you can took it is this is m1 i take this is m2 i took it bending moment that's just a bending moment equation bending moment of that portion that's it in this cd portion m1 is zero if you took m2 in this location if you applied a load here what is the bending moment in this location if you applied a one load what is the bending moment in this location this location is x 1 into x that's it now p into x that is the bending moment integration later we have to integrate it that's it m2 is x limits c to d it's a zero to origin has taken as a d is origin d is integration d is origination from d to c 0 to 1.5 just we write a bending moment of that portion with limits i will apply later okay that's it. next c to b c to b portion e portion if you take this portion if you take this portion in the m1 m1 what is the bending moment again here is zero again here is zero because there is no loading there is no moment so again it's m1 is zero m2 m2 again if you see again if you <coughs> again if you see it is x only are understood again it is x it is applied a one again if you applied a one it is a one one into x are understood again it's a one one into x it's again x limits is now c to b is 1.5 to 3 1.5 to 3 are understood again x x only now if you applied a unit load you will get 1 into x that portion c to b portion now comes to the b to a portion here c is the origin here is b c b to a portion b to a portion if you took m1 if you took it is now it will get 1 into x that's it sir positive or and negative if you took a clockwise is positive anti clockwise is negative no cha no uh, problem is arises but you have to take care that if you took this direction is positive you have to took every so these three diagrams you had to that is the positive if you write is hey x or minus x you can get an a doubt once you feel that in this direction anti clockwise is you taken as a negative c positive you can assume that problem anti clockwise is negative only because there is no problem because if you see it is m1 into m2 those are multiplications will come every time two moments are multiplied multiplied so if you took a positive or negative that is doesn't difference it's a square term will come but you have to choose that in these three portions you can choose only one direction only one is either positive or negative you can took it is no chance no problem arise final equations also no problem will arise because it's a square term will come but you can choose you can adapt for the three m and m1 m2 the same so what is m i will show you so but b a portion m1 will come x m1 will come next no not x m1 will come x this is a, so what is x what is an x <clears throat> what is an x see i will write it like if you took this is the portion if it's this is the portion if you took an x is this this is the x this is x so what is the bending moment here 1 into x minus 3 are understood 
what is this this distance is x minus this 3 are understood this is the 3 x minus 3 na? that is x minus 3 this is uh, x minus 3 here if you took this is the x here here also you took this is a x if you applied a bending moment at b and a also if you took this is an x you can directly take it as x here if you see bending moment is only this portion only that portion is x minus 3 when you took the limits is 3 to 7 because this up to this distance is 3 later 3 to 4 just to write a bending moment you can write sir why don't you take 1.5 to 3 3 to 7 directly 0 to you can add those bending moments you can add those bending moments different different time you can took this from 0 to 0 0 to everything 0 0 i will solve the problem tomorrow i will solve problem here i will took 1.5 to 3 and 3 to 7 that's why the x is from this location to this location otherwise if you took this is also from 0 to 0 0 to 3 0 to 3 you can took this is a x only if you took this is 0 to 4 I understood this is x if you took this is the only part x I understood this is the only part if you took x you can integration that limits is 0 to 4 because you write from 0 to this 4 but if you took the limits from 3 that's a 3 to 7 because you taken this is a starting point 0 that's why it's a bending moment is what what you have to write x minus 3 here is x only here is x only because if you are took this portion b to a also it is a applicable are understood you can took these limits 0 to 1.5 1.53 3 to 7 that's why you require x minus 3 if you took 0 to 4 you can write this is x only sir how can we sir this is a elementary school in an integration part i will show tomorrow problem with the big problem i will show individual these are no need to write 1 0 to 1.5 1.5 to 3 3 to 7 no need to write everything take an individual and you can add it you can add it i will show tomorrow if the frames is suitable to show something if you write down the free bodies every part every part you can write a free body all right so these things will come I will this very much annoying. Okay. So those parts you write it. Now you can see. Now you can see once you got these values, bending moment values. If you want, if you want, see if you want F11. F11 means f11 means what this is the f11 if you want f11 what what is the idea how to get it m of f11 you will get it m1 multiply with m1 dx by ea sir integration total these three three different parts has three different moments so you can add it so 0 to 1.5 1.5 to 3 3 to 1 but if you see it is if you see it is the first part cd is 0 into 0 0 second part 0 into 0 0 third part is only third part is remaining this is 3 to 7 <coughs> this 3 to 7 x minus 3 whole square dx by ea you will get it directly how to get sir this thing that is the explanation of today i gave it you can directly find out this f11 without knowing those formulas the effect is same you write a bending moment write a bending moment in that portion with respect to the regarding those limits you multiply with the same effect you will get the same def uh, deformation in that force direction so what is this value this value is 21.33 by ea okay now i will come to this location f Two one if you require, F two one you will require. You can write M two and M one. M two M one required. 
here if you see the first part is 0 0 second part is 0 into x 0 third part second part 0 into x if you have values you can use those limits use those limits and find out so third only is remaining what is that value x minus 3 into x and understood x minus 3 into x dx by a limits 0 to 7 3 to 7 I said if you take this 0 to 4 also but you can write it say x those are the individual you can write the free bodies no need to take limits from 1, 0 to 1.5, 1.53 you, you no need to attention between those two it is a principle of superposition you can divide those parts and you can write free bodies and you can add it I will show you later that is a strength of metals not mechanics very small first year topic I think first year you can write down free bodies and you can add those effects okay so what is this value this value is 45.33 by EA so now you can come to the F12 required F12 required you can write M1 M2 but no need to calculate because both are equal you already know if you affect also same this will same will come what is the meaning of F21 what is the meaning of F21 if you applied a force in here you want a deflection in this at the location of where second force is acting so that's why we multiply this effect and we multiply with this effect are understood this effect and this effect you can multiply it that is a strain it comes from the strain energy okay comes from the strain energy you can multiply with you will get f21 or f12 when you applied a unit force here this is only applicable when unit force is applied the forces are different you can't it okay you can't get those thing. when you applied a unit force in second direction but you want a for deflection in the first direction so this effect and this effect you can multiply it you can get it so these two are equal so many times we did it okay those two are equal and if you aren't required f22 that is exactly at the second location when your force is applied you want this deformation in the second direction these are you can do the problem when these are the two unit forces you can do the same thing when one is a force one is a moment anything you can do it i will tomorrow i will show the problem okay this is simple to understand that concept okay f22 you want required you will get m2 and m2 so m2 m2 if you see it so from 0 to 1.5 it is x x into x x square here is this is also x square this is also x square so what you will get x square 0 to 1.5 1.5 to 3 x square 3 to 7 x square dx by a what is that value that value is <coughs> 114 that value is I think 114 114.33 by a got the idea so that's the things you can use this strain energy very simple way you can use it just write down the bending moments on those portions bending moments on those portions bending moment that's it when you apply those forces what is the bending moment in different different parts is different just write it and you can multiply you can get it okay so now comes to this topic how to find out this are delta b and delta c that is a bigger problem na? c here also the same concept will apply so how sir for this free body also you have to write down you have to write down so what is it it is 60 kilonewton per meter this is 100 kilonewton for this free body also you have to write down the cm first i will write down you have to write down the moments in different different parts so first this part from d to c what is the moment no moment it's a free na? it's a free end there is no moment it's a zero from this to this e portion 
so if you taken this portion what is the bending moment if you taken as a, this is x this is an x you taken this is r is it if you taken this what is this bending moment so 100 into 100 into this distance what is this distance this is 1.5 x minus 5 x minus 1.5 no? x minus 1.5 that's it so this is the bending moment of 100 into x minus 1.5 now you can see it is previously you took this direction is positive anti-clockwise is positive you can do anti-clockwise is positive negative it don't matter but once you took in a problem you can adopt every every moment every moment previously we took this is a taken that's why you write x and x and x so now also you took this is the direction of positive but now this the moment is this direction uh, negative negative okay negative later see this is the this up to this portion is 100 into x minus 1.5 so from taken from this to this is x that is we we can't do every time you can draw you can took i said you can took everything is from 0 to 0 so every individual part i will do tomorrow once i do tomorrow you can really write these limits and you can do it that's a very simple okay i will show you tomorrow individual parts and only individual you can took 0 to 0 0 to 0 to something that is simple but that's you have to write down free body diagrams tomorrow i will show you okay that's it in this part it's a hundred into x minus 1.5 that is the bending moment so now now up to this okay now this part in this part what is the bending moment what is the bending moment so this part if you see can this is an x same 100 into this is 1.5 this is 1.5 100 into 1.5 the same will come 100 into x into 1.5 it will come and for this part this part will come this is 60 if this is a something what is this something this what is this distance this is 1.5 1.53 so 60 into 3 see sorry so what is this distance this is distance is x minus 3 x minus 3 na? so 60 into x minus 3 and x minus 3 by 2 because this portion acting it's off of this location are understood off of this location that is x you can take something x is a unknown so where it is anywhere you take an x that thing na? 60 into x minus 3 whole square by 2 this moment also comes to this direction this direction that's it so that's the thing 100 into x minus 1.5 minus 60 into x minus 3 whole square by 2 that is the moment on the turret in that portion okay in this portion the moment is this in this portion limits is 3 to 7 3 to 7 <clears throat> okay so that's it once you write down those limits the moments in the free body diagram also now you can find out easily this delta b and delta c sir how can you sir delta b is delta b is this m multiply with m1 previously m1 m2 m1 m1 m square m1 m2 m2 m1 m2 square now if you want to deflection also this delta b is this m into m1 if you want delta c you can directly write m into m2 that's the simple so if you see delta b i write it integration of this m multiply with m1 dx by e l if you took it is c m into m1 this part is 0 this part is also 0 only this part is remaining you can multiply with you can multiply with you can multiply with 
limits of 0, 3 to 7, 100 into x minus 1.5 minus 60 into x minus 3 whole square by 2, this and multiply with x minus 3 because this 2, x minus 3, dx by a, you can do integration, you will get it 5 to 53.33 ea. If you want delta c in the second direction, free body, it's a m into m2, m into m2, same, the strain energy concept only, you can go through it and go inside it, you will get it. So, see it, 0 into x, 0, so this part into this part. And this part into this part. This part already we did it. So this part is remaining. You can add it. Okay. You can add it. It's a 1.5 to 3. What is that value will come? 100 into x minus 1.5. Multiply with x dx. 3 to 7. This part only. Okay. What you will get? You will get minus 1154.5 divided by a that's thing so now you can understand how to write a flexibility matrix and how to find out the deformations once you know this bending moments this is very simple here don't need don't feel it is a confusing part Are understood don't feel it is a confusing part if you took if you took from exactly from every end point from the end point you took it is a confusing every time from end point is x, you can write it as a confusing because you took the limits 0 to 1.5, 1.5 to 3. But if you write everything is a free bodies, that is easy. I will show you tomorrow. Okay. I will show you tomorrow. If you write every part is a free bodies, because this everything is a determinate structures, na? Everything is determinate, na? I will show you tomorrow. I will show you tomorrow how can how we can write it. Okay. That's it. So if you, if you, once you find out this, once you find out this, this later part is very nothing. So once you got it, you can write it. What is the flexibility matrix? Twenty-one point three three, forty-five point three three. It's a forty point five point three three, one one point five three three, one by e a plus. What are those deflections? Sorry, flexibility matrix multiply with unknowns VP and VC. What was those deflection? 525.33, 1 by EI equal to 0, 0. Because final deflections are at this location, those are the supports. It's 0, 0. Got it? So EI, EI, you can cancel it. If you go to outside, EI, you cancel. And if solve it, VP and VC. 2 by 2, 2 equations, you will get it 188.39, 27.24 kilonewtons. That's it. That's it. So, once you got it, you can write on the free bodies. You can, this is what 27.29, this is 188.39, this is 100. So those two are nums. Once you got those two, you can write down free bodies. So what is the moment will come? It will come moment. It is a hundred. It is one point five. It's also one point five. This is twenty seven point two nine. What will come? This is sixty eight point two. Wait, come. Sixty-eight point two. It is a twenty-four. You will get it's a seventy-five point seventy-two point seventy-six. Here you will get forty-five point sixty-three. Here you will get one twenty-four point three seven. It is also sixty-eight two eight. Here what will come? One eighty-five point nine. Eighty-five point eighty-five point nine. 85.9 60 it's a 4 can you write easily write you can write shear force diagram
so 45 45 you can write shear force you can write down the bending moment also you can write down it's 85 it's a 60 it's a 0 negative negative positive values these things you can get it positive you can strike out this thing that's it so we same will get it previously 85.9 and 68 point these two are we taken as unknowns these two are taken as unknowns where we solve it we we'll see okay yes see see those two exactly got the same exactly we got the same that's it that's the idea okay that's it what we discussed today is just see it is to find out the deflections deformations when the load is applied when the one load is applied at one location we want a deflection the same direction and we want the deformation in another direction and also when the free body is written free release the redundance when the free bodies are written when the free body is ready we want a deformations in redundant directions when we want a, a deformations in the redundant directions how do we approach we can't solve by very very Cas casually we can't do it because these are all different different load positions are occupying so that's why we require certain alternative that alternative comes from the strain energy method by the strain energy by the strain energy by the fixed load by those equations we observe it what we observe it the effect of one load and we effect of another load and we effect of another different load we write different different bending moments in the spans we write different different bending moment in the spans by the different force by the redundant forces effects later if you want f11 or the deformation in the direction of one when the force is applied at one location that is the integration of the bending moment of m1 effect and m1 effect if you want another location when the unit force is applied in the first direction, you write M1 and that M2 direction, M2 effect. Okay, so in the total span, not in only span, only one part, you can this total span. So okay, the total span, the bending moment effect, you have to write it. So he write it. This is a very small part, you can write on these equations, these things. To write on the bending moment effect is very simple. Okay, don't take it. As a different if you, if you taken as limits from 0 to 1.5 and also 3 to 1.5 0 is somewhere you have to took X is from 0 only okay that's why X minus 3 X minus 3 these will come you don't want to put 1.5 to 3 so again I want to write sir 0 to 1.5 the distance is only 1.5 I will took as individual you have to write down that free portion how that free portion I will now I will only explain see if you took this only effect this only effect if you want it so exactly write that free body just i will show so small just i will show small thing i will you can write those free body but if you write the free body at this location what is the moment here if you see this 100 into this 1.5 is also there if you write this is exactly free it's not free you have to giant is there giant means that is a part is there so this 100 into 1 1.5 150 150 will come this direction if you observe it this is 150 this is also 150 now you can this is a free body free body of this portion are understood this is the free body of this portion of ba now if you took this is the portion of this x you can write it like 150 150 plus this effect this effect is 60 into x into x by 2 you can write it because now we can took x is if you write this is a free port previously we took as a whole that's why i took x is from somewhere if you write if you took that is a free 
sir every time i took 0 to if you took directly 0 to 3 so 4 4 this length is 4 now 4 this is 0 and 4 4 meters individually you can add it individually add it individually you can add it like this you can took its individual individual parts individual parts okay so this part also you can write c cb part also you can took it is like this is a what is cb part also you can took it is previously this is zero zero so no will come directly x nothing this has some part is there this has no need at all you can come to this side from this side there is no difference you can took some cb portion from this dc portion there is no movement will come because it's a free end you delete it directly x only you can write 0 to this part is 0 to 1.5 you can write it like this you can draw free bodies of those portions you can took spans limits is 0 to 1.5 0 to 0 0 to 0 but you have to write down the free bodies you can do it but you can't so i previously 40 classes 50 classes we draw free bodies of every part you have to analyze it you can do free bodies and you can write otherwise i don't have a capacity to draw free bodies you can took as a limits 0 to 1.5 1.5 to 3 the axis comes from at the end point okay are understood so i will tomorrow i will draw free bodies the frame frame you, you can't do okay i will show you free bodies of different parts and you can draw you can took the bending moment is how to took bending moment okay these things are clumsy clumsy okay that's it this is the way you can solve the problems you can this way you can find out the deflections it is a very good method i think it is very good uh, tool it's a tool to find out the deformations in different different directions very very powerful tool i <laughs> understood so think it is and comes to the tomorrow class we will solve a frame okay if you have still you have any problems ask me otherwise leave it